time last year in this very room, you became a WPT champ. Yeah. How has your life changed since then? Wow, I mean, over the past year, I've done some things to just soul search and find out who I really am. Like, I looked back on that tournament. I was actually watching it with, with one of my friends, and she was saying, like, you're not smiling like you always do. Like, I didn't get that happy when I won it. Yes! I was almost sad, in a way, to see myself. Like, I'm not even smiling. Like, I'm just a totally different person. And yeah, I just wanted to bring the smiles, bring the joy, and just try to repeat and win this tournament again. This last year, I don't think you played a lot of poker. You took a pretty big break, huh? <laughs> yeah. You've just so... been relaxing. And I realized that, like, I, I got the amount of money that I wanted. I decided it was time to step away from the table and focusing internally and just wanted to change just kind of the way I thought about life. It's the way I treated each day, and I just wanted to start, like, experiencing life better. And... You played baseball in college, and it is a strategic game. Is there anything that you've taken from baseball that you could apply to your poker world? I struggled in baseball in college. In baseball would be like, I might go strike out, and then I get pissed at myself. I go to war with myself. I'd be so mad. Yeah. And like, that's something now that I just don't do as much. Like, if I bluff off my stack, I'll be like, yeah. hey, you thought it was good. You know, you should, you should get upset for like maybe a few seconds, but there's no reason to dwell over it. And what advice would you give? young guys and women who want to play poker professionally. If you love the game, you know, go for it. Right. Like, if you're feeling it, just go out, go day in and day out and play. I think that's why you see so many athletes in this game, because they're able to overcome so many challenges. They can get over the bad beats, you know? Not, not the average person could handle losing a pot for a hundred something thousand dollars or, you know, stuff like that, but all of us sickos can find a way to do yeah. it. <laughs> You feel like you're close to another WPT final table? I'm just not even sweating it. I just yeah. don't even care. I, I'm, I'm like a little bit good at this game because of my ability to just not care. I do care so much and I don't care at all. It's, it's, a, it's a cool balance. Hopefully I end up back there, you know.